Okay, first I'm gonna reproduce this guy here. So we know that this side here is 16, this is 10, this is five, this is six, this is our X, and this is four. Now, we know that because everything meets at a right angle, this total distance traveled across up top has to equal this total distance traveled down here by these two pieces. And it, it makes sense, right? We it, it, That's what indeed is occurring. We've got a six and a four, add, it, add those up and we get 10, which is what we have up top. The same thing is true here. We've got 16 going all the way down. Here we've got an unknown value plus a five going up top. Well, since this five and this X combined need to equal this 16, we know that five plus X equals 16. We can therefore figure out that by subtracting five from both sides, we can figure out that X equals 11. And this is not feet squared, not feet cubed. This is just length, where it, which is feet. All right, let's do this same problem here. I'm gonna draw it out. So here's my X, here's my 16, and here's my nine, here's my eight, here's my seven, and 14, okay. So look, we're looking at this horizontal distance across. So we know that this total horizontal distance going all the way across is 14. And we know up here, part of the way is eight, the remaining way is this X. Therefore, it stands to reason that eight plus that X, this entire distance traveled horizontally up top has to equal this total distance on the bottom, which is 14. Therefore, if we want to solve for X, we subtract eight from both sides and we get X equals six. Oh, sorry, not 16. X equals six. 14 minus eight is six. And again, that's feet. It's just a unit of length.